Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 8, Lesson 10, Course Recap. So if you're watching this lesson, I hope that means that you're at the end of this course, which means you've accomplished a lot towards learning Unreal Engine and starting your game dev journey. Throughout this course, we've learned a lot. So in week one, we started with the very basics of Unreal Engine. Week two, we learned about the game mode and some basic AI. Week three, we learned about level design tools and how to use those in Unreal Engine. Week four, we learned about interfaces and event dispatchers. Week five, we learned about inheritance. Week six, we learned about structures and data tables. Week seven, we learned about source control and the game save class. And then during week eight, we brought all of these lessons together to put some finishing touches on our projects. So at this point, you should have the foundation for four projects that you can continue to build for your portfolio or even to release as a complete game. And you may be asking yourself, what's next? Well, I just wanted to provide a little bit of guidance on where you can go from here. So like I said, we have four prototypes that you can build upon. So you could start by developing those projects and getting them ready for release. And if there's one project that really stood out to you, you could even go ahead and try to make that a complete game and maybe even find a few people to work on it together. I definitely recommend that you continue to build your skills in Unreal Engine. And these are just a few resources where you can go find additional learning material. So Steven Ulibarri is a wonderful Unreal Engine instructor. He has several courses on Udemy and he also has a YouTube page called Druid Mechanics. Steven's courses are very in depth. So if you really like getting into the details, I highly recommend Steven's courses. Tom Lumen is another wonderful instructor. He has several courses on Udemy as well. And he also has a website where he has written tutorials that are great references if you wanna search for something very quickly. Gamedev.tv is another wonderful resource. They have multiple courses available for you to learn a variety of skills. And there are many other courses out there that you can learn from and continue to develop your skills. If there's one specific area of Unreal Engine that you seem to enjoy more than others, I highly recommend finding a course that will really help you dig in and master Unreal Engine. Now, you may be really enjoying Unreal Engine, but I also recommend that you at least learn a little bit about some of the other engines that are available to you. I think this is a great step for any game developer to help round out their skills and learn to think differently about solving problems. Unity and Godot are two very popular game engines that you can learn from, and there's a lot of resources out there. I also wanted to put another one called Raylib. This is another wonderful engine for learning game dev. Although technically it's more of a framework than a game engine, I've seen a lot of great games being made using it. If you haven't already joined any Unreal Engine communities or game dev communities, I highly recommend that you do this as well and start building your network of people that you enjoy to work with and that you can lean on and support each other. As I've said multiple times throughout this course, I have a Discord that you can join and meet some of the other developers that have gone through this course or are going through this course, but mine is not the only community out there. So I definitely recommend that you find a community where you feel at home and you can continue to build your network and your skills. And something I talk about often is joining game jams. These are excellent opportunities to continue to hone your skills and work within a team to solve complex challenges on a short time scale. So I also recommend trying to look for some game jams that may be interesting to you and trying to find a team so you can work on those together. And I just wanted to end this lesson by saying one more time, thank you for all of the support that I've gotten throughout the creation of this course. It's been a ton of work, but the feedback that I've gotten has made it all worth it. So thank you to everyone. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you for watching the videos and being engaged and being part of the community. I have a lot of other projects in the works and I will be announcing them through this channel or through my discord. So please keep an eye out for future developments. And again, thank you very much.